just got this CompuPro at the Vintage Computer Festival out there in California. And I have to be honest, I, at the time, knew basically nothing. Uh, but they were kind enough to explain a little bit to me, and I, I knew I was interested enough to get it. So we have this beautiful enclosure here and the dual 8-inch drives with its own enclosure. So this is the main sort of setup I'm going to start with. And what I've also got is this single board computer I may or may not be able to figure out. It is made by JC Systems 1982. So we've got the usual suspects, Z80 CPU, RAM, etc. So I'll take a closer look at that later once I get this thing up and running. But for now, um, I'm also setting this on top. I don't know if I'm actually going to get this thing working. As you can see, it says keyboard not connected. I don't know what kind of keyboard this thing takes. It is not a typical setup. It is some kind of telephone DIN style. So I cannot find any information on this. Maybe I'll take a closer look at model number later. But um, yeah, I would love to figure out some kind of keyboard setup to get this thing going. It is a serial terminal, so it's a beautiful Zenith data systems. Wouldn't this look lovely together? Uh, initially, I'll probably just do some serial port something or other. Um, but yes, I also have this beautiful thing. I'll get into this later more, but this is the Kim Z, which is meant to go with this Kim One computer which is a very interesting Kim 1 computer. Hmm, what's that board? So, um, I, I hope to learn about this and its relationship to the S100 bus stuff, as well as my Kim 1, so that's a good excuse for that. Um, I've got some parts that have arrived already. I have TTL chips, which, gotta be honest, I'm just learning about. So that's another reason that I'm looking forward to getting into this computer because should be a wonderful learning opportunity. So I know how to solder. I know some basic, you know, electronic-y things. Ohm's law, I got it. But I haven't really put it to this next level. So what's I think it'd be fun is a lot of people back in the 70s, I think, got these as hobbyist computers, kit computers, in order to learn. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to try to use this as a learning experience to get to know uh, my transistor logic, etc. Who knows? Um, but also, kind of put these out here, we'll maybe take a closer look in a sec, but these are some 8-inch discs. Um, some of these are blank, but these I want to get into, I'll probably have to do it with, um, you know, an IBM machine, make a connection there just to get the date off, but I'm curious if these are for some type of S100 bus machine, I don't know. 1988 is kind of late, but they do seem to be some type of like forest service discs here. I think there's stuff on both sides, but yeah, very curious. The forest plan. What's forest plan? I don't know. Hopefully I can figure that out. So I'm going to move some stuff around here, but uh, yeah, that is our, our introduction here to what I think is a beautiful, beautiful machine, this CompuPro. Um, I think it's going to be lovely. So um, let's move some stuff around. I want to take a closer look at this and show you as well what's up with this. We've got some new, brand new boards here I'm going to tinker with. So yeah, let's come back real quick. Okay, we have our lid off, and first you can see, I imagine, the riser board here is lifting our single board computer out of the chassis. So when it comes time to troubleshooting, working, debugging in kind of any way, hands-on, you don't have to be working inside the chassis with probes or anything. It's lifted up in a way, easy access. So I thought that was worth mentioning. And I also wanted to take a closer look at these discs real fast. Now, I have no idea what it's going to take for me to get the data off of these things. You know, I'm assuming it's a Z80 computer. I'm assuming it's a CPM system. No idea. No, And I know not all CPM systems are created equal. Anyways, so the label here, wildlife, who knows what that means, and classifications, um, commission policies, and a bunch of forest plan stuff. So I'm definitely getting a forest service kind of vibe. Um, definitely... These giant discs kind of make me think government with their early adoption. So who knows? I have no idea. I'm going to just try to get the data off and go from there. 
<laughs> we'll see. I don't know what it's going to take. Uh, but next, let's take a look at these brand new boards. Showing off earlier. So uh, this first one, that's our other single board computer. That's the brand new one here that I'm hoping to actually get started with. So this came from s100computers.com. Actually, Todd Goodman helped me out with this. It's very much appreciated. And I'm very excited to put this together. This is what is going to get my foot in the door to be able to start adding cards, getting to know what the system is even all about. So this is going to be a good start. And I also have this ZFDC card, which is that Z80 floppy disk controller card. It's going to help, I hope, get into that 8-inch floppy drive and, and set that thing up to make what I would consider a nice proper S100 bus setup. So this is going to be very useful. So this fella, this is the I.O. board, which will get us keyboard and VGA connections. So that should be pretty fun. So I'm probably going to have to hook this up and have a, a terminal emulator go into a laptop initially. So it would be great to have some type of CRT in a, in a regular keyboard as soon as I can. You know, assuming I can't get this thing going, I just, I got a feeling. Uh, there's no documentation on this thing. There's, it's so hard to find any information on these things. So anyways, this ought to help. And then, got this, this guy here, the IDE CF card board. Now this is just what it sounds like. It's gonna add a couple of CF card adapters and act as a hard drive. So this ought to help I hope even try lots of different, I don't know if you'd call them operating systems, but yeah, just different operating systems and whatnot. Um, so so that's my hope. I'm curious to see what I can get on here and how much I can get on here. So that'll make sure storage won't be an issue. And this is the whole thing that started this because these, I don't know, those teeth at the bottom there, they're not gold plated. They are unfortunately not as corrosive resistant, so there was some mistake along the line there, and I got this uh, basically for the cost of shipping. So this is a great serial board that I'm hoping will get me some solid serial access. So that, I think, is the basis of my S100 bus computer. Once I get all of these things going, I could probably move away from the single board computer and then have more of a traditional S100 computer with separate boards for kind of everything. Um, it's my goal. I, I want to sort of experience what it was like to have an S100 computer. That's that's definitely part of this. And also, you know, just to see what kind of mad science people have done with it in the meantime. Um, let's take a closer look at this thing. We've got our power supply here. This Wetha cap is the main reason I haven't turned it on yet. I need to switch that out. And we have the CompuPro logo, a Godbout company. And some interesting ports in back here. Um, I also have this website here. It gives us a, a few good shots, I have to say, of the inside and the manual. I thought this was funny. <laughs> there is oh, some great sections. So when I go to test this and turn this on, I'm going to be looking at this to um, double check what all the voltages should be. Um, but I thought it funny down below that um, the store to charge on the power supply, you should, uh, for the reset button, it'll glow. You should wait 10 or 15 to 20 minutes for it to stop glowing. <laughs> That's amazing to me. I don't know. So I guess I'm not used to these older power supplies, but i um, going to be reading this very thoroughly before I even turn it on. And I'll be testing everything before I even think about plugging anything into it. So I'm going to go very slow in this whole process as I am learning. Um, kind of show off real quick too. I did have some cool vintage components I got from a garage sale way back when. It's all sorts of TTL chips and oh, just, just fun, interesting stuff. I might show that off more at some point, but I think I've got enough tools to get started. Got a new Z uh, three, evidently, a Z80 processors up to 10 megahertz. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a blast. I doing this project have a whole new appreciation for 
<laughs> what was going on in those S old S100 bus. Um, what, like the homebrew computer club that Steve Wozniak was developing his computers in. Uh, was it Microsoft? Uh, Bill Gates uh, founded Microsoft based on the S100 bus in the Altair, so Altair Basic. Anywho, I um, want to show off on that note what that Kimsey board looks like set up. can tell you what these boards are. I'm curious if anyone actually has information on that, but look at that setup. That would be a fun setup. You've got your keyboard, all sorts of, who knows, extra RAM, etc. boards, cassette players, so you can save your files, etc. And yeah, this is looks like a fun setup. I might do something similar. Who knows what I end up doing? Oh, a uh, quick side note on that monitor. Here's that. Again, anyone knows anything on this? Please tell me. Got that uh, interesting keyboard connector here. And there's our model. So yes, hopefully I can get that going. Um, hopefully this will help me learn more about the Kim One. And uh, again, just the entire, I don't know, foundation of the personal computer revolution um, happened inside these S100 bus computers. So fun. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to learn on computers that I think back in the day were meant to be learned on. It's kind of how I understand those kit computers um, were partially sold as learning tools. I don't know, you definitely have to have a little bit of knowledge, which I have, I have very little. <laughs> so if you see anything in this video that uh, you think I might benefit from, any extra knowledge you have, I need, totally let me know. But very excited to start testing this and turning it into a real computer. Um, at any rate, I will uh, keep you updated.